Welcome once again to Virtual Reality Game Dev Ed. This is an advanced tutorial series all about design. Designed for our friend codename S. In this series we will be going through all of the graphic design software that is available to us. Um, starting with Blender, this is the main software we use, but we will also be talking about other software such as uh, Filter Forge and Make Human and whatnot, but we will get into all of that later. First, Blender. Um, this is uh, <clears throat> what we will be designing here to teach you how to use the program. This is actually a house I designed for a game, Virtual Reality. And please, everyone, understand that I am not a graphic designer, so please don't judge me on this. Um, I am actually a programmer and video game developer. However, this tutorial series is all about design, so this is what we will be making. Um, as you see, we have textures inside the house. You know, we can uh, back up to the bedroom. There's a kitchen. There's a bathroom over here if I can get into it. Yep, right there. And uh, anyway, yes, that's uh, this is what we will be making throughout this video or throughout this series to teach you how to use Blender. That is, uh, we will be going through other programs and um, doing other things with the other programs, but. This is what we'll be starting off with. Now, again, this is a this is an advanced tutorial series, so if you are an absolute beginner, I actually do not suggest starting off with this tutorial series. All you have to do is on YouTube just type absolute beginner blender tutorial in the search bar and you will find a very very useful tutorial series by another channel that uh is a good place to get started. Then you can come back here and we will get in. The reason I am uh, starting off here is because this friend is, learns a little quickly and is a little more advanced. So, first thing you want to do, we'll go ahead and close that out. You open up Blender, it's going to open up your default scene. You, you are still going to have the cube. First thing we want to do is actually my default scene. You can save whatever scene you want as your default scene. Very first thing you want to do is click here in the 3D menu, make sure this area is selected, press A to select everything, and then find the delete button on your keyboard, press that, and then click delete. And now we have a nice clear plane to work with. Okay. <clears throat> Now you can save that as your default if you'd like or whatever, it doesn't really matter. But first let me go over some of these panels and whatnot so you understand what's going on. Um, what I'm doing to rotate the screen right here, this is my uh, center mouse button or the wheel. All you have to do is click and hold that and it will rotate the screen whichever way you want. Okay. And then to drag the screen, all you have to do is hold the shift button and click that center mouse button again. And now we are dragging our scene around. Okay, that's how you navigate. It's pretty easy, right? Okay. Now the first couple things I have to talk about is the view. Right now we're in ortho view. As you saw earlier, I... Uh, jumped inside the house if you press 5 on your number pad that will put you in perspective view and that allows you to see inside of things we don't actually work with this very much we want to work with ortho most of the time um, because it's a little harder to navigate in perspective view if I'm zooming in by us uh, just uh, scrolling my wheel forward and then you zoom out just by scrolling that wheel back but as you noticed after a while I got so close and it kind of stopped moving 
That's one of the problems with perspective. It's a little bit more difficult to navigate in. So go ahead and press 5 again and go back to ortho view. And now we can navigate in as, or out as far as we want. However, again, we will not be able to get inside of objects. We will only, well, you can get as close to the wall as you want, but you will not go through it. Okay. Next thing we need to talk about is the two different main modes that we work with. Object mode is uh, what we're in right now. And this shows you a preview like you saw just a minute ago of your finished object. In order to edit anything, you have to code right down here. And you click edit mode. Well, let's go ahead and add a cube first just so we have something to work with. Now, when your cube is selected, okay, to select an object, all you have to do is click up here. You can right click on it. I will select it as well, just like that. I unselected everything with A again. Right click on it, that'll select it. When your object is selected, you can go to edit mode here <clears throat> and now we are literally able to actually alter the object you see some vertices and some edges pop up on it that we didn't see before you see the black lines we go back to object mode and we see the completed object as it would look normally okay first of all let me go ahead and move this cube to the center of our screen to do that, now I'm in object mode here, stretch this out a little bit, okay, this, uh, let me talk first a little bit about these menus, this will show you everything uh, that's in the scene, this is how you navigate around, this is telling you that that is mesh, this is the actual cube object itself, okay. We want to come down here. This is pretty much how we control everything. This is similar to the inspector in Unity or something like that. We want to click on this. This is the little object box. This will tell us all of the details about that specific object. Right here in location, we want to change this to 0, 0, and 0. Okay, click out of it, and now we have our cube right in the middle of our scene. All right, now, we are already in edit mode. Now, since I clicked on the mesh earlier, so let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do with the edit mode. First of all, right now I have the vertices selected. So, if I were to try to click right here, or anywhere out here it's not going to do anything because that's not a vertice you want this is selecting the vertices which are points any point on an object is a vertice okay this is the edge mode now we can select full edges see very simple stuff this is face mode now we can select full faces very simple stuff right all I'm doing to select these is just right clicking again. All right. Now, in our 3D view, this this panel closes. To open these little panels, all you have to do is click on these. There's another one over here that does some other stuff. We don't use that very much. So go ahead and leave that one closed. But this is how we actually edit and alter all of our options. All of our ob all of our things. And I'm going to uh show you how to set up this many uh, this many buttons because you won't see a lot of you won't see all this stuff right now another thing you will see when you first start up your game is this now this little menu down here is actually for playing animations and such we won't be getting into that for a little while because uh, animations is a bit more complicated so first thing we want to do start doing is actually editing objects and whatnot okay 
So, let me glance down at these menus and go over this. This menu right here goes over all of your controls to actually edit the mesh and whatnot. You can delete it, you can, uh, you know, what you can do with faces and whatnot, and we will go over what all of these is as we go through as we go through the tutorials. Select menu is different options to select. Like, see, this face is selected right now. Say I wanted to inverse this selection. Now that face is not selected. However, my other five faces on the cube are. Simple things like that. You can A and D select all, but again. All of these controls are also available straight from the keyboard. So that's actually how you want to learn to use your controls. Again, to select, I'm just pressing A. Very simple stuff. Now the view actually changes where the camera view is, or we can change from or throw in perspective view. But again, we see shortcuts for everything. This is very quick way to learn all of your shortcuts. To change your views, press 1 to go to front, 3 to go to right, and 7 to go to top. Press control 1 to go to the back, control 3 to go to the left, and control 7 to look at the bottom. Okay. Those you will use a lot. We want to you definitely want to remember those three numbers very well. You can also use 2 to come to an angle. 4, 5, 8, or 6, 8, 5 changes your view from perspective to ortho again. And if we want to get inside the object, now I'm inside the cube with perspective mode. 5 to go back to ortho mode. Okay. Now, another thing I need to go over real quick before we get started on any kind of design is changing the object down here. This button tells you to move the object. If I select it right now, this will literally move that face one way or another. Okay? Control Z to undo. This will rotate the object. Very simple stuff. Okay. Control Z to undo. And this one will scale the object. Any amount you want. Control Z to undo. And then now this talks about what space we are working with. Global is what we normally use local you can uh, affect an object in its private local space okay that's uh, something we don't do very much we usually just stick with global okay now another thing here this little menu tells you where this goes the bounding box center will put this little controller right in the middle of the object that's selected. If you set it to the 3D cursor, then you can move it around. To move your 3D cursor around, you just left click anywhere on your scene. And that's how I like to use it because then I can uh, move it right to where I want. However, when you're doing things like rotate, if you rotate from that point, obviously you see now we are rotating around my 3D cursor. And that's often not what you want to do. So when you're you doing things like rotate, you want to go ahead and put it right in the bounding box center. And now we are rotating right around that point in space. Okay, I am out of time for this video, so I will stop right there and pick up right where I left off.